Mercedes-Benz products have carried numerical model designations for as long as most people can remember, so the names Viano and Vito always seemed a little out of place within the bigger product family. All of that changed in 2014 when the German company ushered in the V-Class. The message was clear, out with the old, commercially orientated van and in with the plush people mover that's ready to take its rightful place among the company's passenger cars. We drove the newcomer at the local launch just more than two years ago, and we were left impressed by its combination of MPV versatility and luxury sedan refinement. We reckon the designers have done a commendable job of endowing the V-Class with the desired upmarket look, and we're not the only ones. In 2014, it won the coveted Red Dot Award for product design, impressing the judges with its elegance and sportiness. It's the same story with the latest model, the gaping chrome grille and intricately designed headlights being reminiscent of those on Mercedes-Benz saloons. The rear is equally sophisticated, if a little upright, while the steeply raked windscreen gives the V-Class a sleek, aerodynamic profile. The interior can accommodate up to eight occupants, depending on the specified trim level. And once you climb aboard, you're surrounded by most of the trappings you'd expect in one of its sedan siblings. There's only one engine in the V-Class lineup, a 2one liter turbo diesel, but don't let that deter you. With varying power outputs ranging from the 100 kilowatt V200D to the V250D, which has a generous 140 kilowatts and 440 newton meters of torque, there's sure to be a V-Class for every application. Starting from about 800,000 Rand, the V-Class offers surprisingly good value for money. But a word of warning. Be careful when ticking those option boxes or you could find yourself spending S-Class money in no time at all. Mm -hmm.